It's the worst incident Roy City has seen in a long time. And Officer Vance was the first to be dispatched after that frantic 911 call. 911, what's your emergency? You gotta send me some help. I hit my head. All right, sir, help is on the way, but can you tell me how you hit your head? I was working under my car, it was dark outside, and I hit my head. Multiple times. Okay, sir, you were working without a light, is that correct? That's correct, it was very dark. And sir, where exactly did you hit your head? What do you mean where I hit my head? I hit it everywhere, everywhere on my head. Sir, I'm not sure what you're trying to say. Are you saying that you hit your head multiple times? Yes, multiple times. Sir, approximately how many times do you think you hit your head? 85 times. I tried to get out from underneath my car 85 times. It's too dark. I struck my head every single time. You struck your head on the bottom of your car 85 times trying to get out from underneath it. Yes. Send help. Hang tight, sir. Help is on the way. Halfway down the road, they see something. We continue running and we can see... Uh, headlocks to, to the tree line and come around the curve. And that's when they seen something truly outstanding. And we want to find out as much and as quickly uh, what happened. Some say Clint was a jack of all trades and master of all of them. He was a good man. Start hanging around the wrong people though. The advance over VCG construction, he wasn't a good influence at all on him. And then one fateful night, the master himself went underneath his truck fix something. Struck his head 85 times trying to get out from underneath that truck in that dark lit area. And then when we tried to pull him out, struck his head another 35 times. So all together it was a lot of times. Well luckily these heroes had a brand new tool at their disposal. And who better to tell us about it than the man himself, Clint. Stuck under that truck for five damn hours. Which for five hours. Hit my head 197 times. I can't imagine what it's like, uh, how frustrating it must have been. We asked Clint to tell us in his own words what happened that night. So the uh, fire department, they slid these underneath the truck. Luckily, I was still conscious enough to uh, be able to grab these, but let me show you real quick. It's unfortunate, as Clint never really did get over the trauma of that night. So this is what the fire department slid under the truck to me that night, this is the rechargeable neck light or lamp from Milwaukee Tool. And I'll tell you, this thing, I don't know what I would have done without it. Yep, so you can swivel these right here to go up, down, up, down. The other side does the same thing. So you just hit this button right here and it'll turn them on. Then you hold it down for a second and it'll bring it lower, hold it down a second, bring it up higher. And this is uh, 400 lumens, this right here. Now what's nice about this is that it comes with a battery and you can put the battery in here, but it comes with it and it's rechargeable with a C port on the back. It takes about an hour for it to fully charge and you get multiple, multiple hours with this thing, even on high. We asked Clint, could you show us how they're used? Sure, I can show you. I can show you how it does it. Oh. You just put them on like this around your neck. And now if you're HVAC or mechanic, plumbing, Anybody's working in tight areas, somebody is stuck under a truck, you can't see, this works. And it is super light, you don't even notice, it's, it's comfortable in the back right there. And again, if I wanna go up, down, I'll just turn it on. Go up, down, up, down, you know, multiple different positions. Look at this, look at it, see that? Yeah, crazy, right? Though he may seem chipper now, he wants the world to know what really happened that night. You understand, I had a flashlight. I had a flashlight. Somebody took it. Somebody took my flashlight. I know who it was. All right, tell us. I heard his voice. Who was it? Well, as it turns out, Clint seems to think it was that Vance fellow from VCG Construction. The local PD even went on record to state that they found a letter written in Vance's handwriting stating that 97% of people will never know that he's the one who stole Clint's flashlight. He denies any involvement. He's an evil man. I don't know what I would have done without these from Milwaukee. I mean, the firefighter said it was only $99 for this. I think I found them at Home Depot, or, or I'll put a link in the description below. But 
These are fantastic. And as for Vance, well, he never was brought to justice. 